Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I introduce a Starship Super Heavy model that I will be using for videos in the near future with the pending launch of Starship Super Heavy. And this is not my model, this is a model by Pekka. I have contributed textures which are somewhat imperfect, especially uh, in the area of the cargo bay, which we don't really have a cargo bay on the existing Starship, so I don't know exactly how it would look but I've made just temporary textures for that. Uh, but the model is Pekka's and the mod is Pekka's, and so he will have to decide how to distribute it and when. Uh, but since I will be using it for videos soon, I decided I ought to get a proper introduction because otherwise people will be asking about it anyway, and I'll have to just answer everybody in the comments individually. So anyway, we have a formal introduction to Pekka's Starship Super Heavy, and the Raptor engines look like that, uh, so nice and neat. And then there's Raptor vacuums, of course, but I'm not going to pull it apart right now. Uh, so we're going to test launch this. We are not going to do retrieval just yet because I'm still working on hopefully using a KOS script for that. The grid fins work. I would like help from viewers on RCS thruster placement. We do have some on here, but I'm not... Especially on Starship, I'm not sure that we have all that we need, especially considering the operations it has. Uh, we have RCS thrusters here. Uh, there's ports here. I think there ought to be a port there that we don't have right now, but there's a port there. And um, we have ports here and there, and obviously the symmetrical ones. So uh, it's not enough to do all the things that it needs to do, I feel. So if you have any idea about other ports on Starship, uh, that would be very helpful so that we can do operations with it properly. But anyway, we will try it out. And for now, we are going to launch it with a KOS script and see how it works. And refinements will come about in due time. We don't have the full pad infrastructure right now. Pekka said that he will work on that, so that might be forthcoming and I'll place it. I do have my Boca Chica terrain. It's looking a little bit dark right now and the KSC area sort of clips into it randomly. Uh, if I want to, we can sort of move the terrain up to avoid some of the clipping. Okay, that's a little bit better. But every time I turn to it, it seems like the terrain level is different. So anyway, uh, according to Pekka, it actually launches with the fins out and in a heads up position. So that's the way we have it right now. And I don't know much about what's happening, really. I am not a star base watcher by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, so we do have a launch script prepared. And it will reserve the fuel in the Super Heavy for its return. And we'll check that out. But this is how it looks in Kerbal Space Program right now. Sorry about all the ancillary bits. We can sort of watch it like this. It does seem like it's perfectly well controlled with the fins out. There's no problems aerodynamically. It's looking pretty legit as far as I'm concerned. We'll have to get some cameras on it and see how it looks with uh, onboard camera too. Retrieving them is going to be sort of a stretch goal here. That will certainly be work to be done. I think that'll be a lot of the experimentation going forward. Whether we can get the Super Heavy back safely and Starship back safely. I mean, essentially probably gonna have to land them land it on the engines which isn't great I mean because I don't think we're gonna be able to do a chopstick catch very easily not around here I can't do stuff that accurate with uh, realism overhaul in stock yes with realism overhaul I'm not so sure okay we're coming close to the time when the super heavies engines will shut down we do not have the turn and boost back yet of course this is just an initial test. This was literally finished today. We did final touch-ups just mere hours ago. And it continues. 
Now, it's not reading right delta V there right now. That's correct. Again, carrying a 100 ton payload. Now, there is a quirk to this in that there's residuals in 1.12, and I think Pekka tested it in 1.8.1, and he didn't have to deal with residuals, but we do have residuals here. So that might cause this to underperform compared to what he expected. I think that was a problem. So even now we can see Super Heavy there. It isn't, didn't do the boost back, so it's sort of just drifting into the Gulf of Mexico. But that's where it is. Okay, we have Thrall down. But it's really tight right now. So probably some numbers need to be adjusted or the KOS script needs to be adjusted. Probably the KOS script needs to be adjusted. And we might need to tweak how much fuel is reserved in Super Heavy. I don't think that's correct at the moment, but the best way to do that is figure out exactly how much we need to land it back at the Boca Chica site and then based on that uh, increase the time that we use it. I think I'm going to turn off the sea level ones and turn on, so I'm going to turn on the RCS and turn off the sea level ones here. And the script automatically thralled up to compensate, you see. But one problem with the RCS right now is I don't think it's got great roll control. Only the ports that were visible were placed. So, again, if somebody has any idea where the other ports might be, that would be great. But the fact that we're pitching down is because of the initial launch trajectory, and we can work on that. I just basically did a very quick tweak on my baseline launch script, which might not be ideal for this. There, uh, I turned off the gimbling on the uh, vacuum engine, so it is just RCS controlling it right now. Which is why we don't have roll control. I think that the uh, two locations where we don't have ports, like right here and right there, would give roll control. Oh, okay, alright. What orbit did we get into? Okay, 274 by 227. It wasn't meant to get into a circular orbit or anything. Uh, let's see if it can just turn prograde for us, but once again, roll control is an issue. There's no reaction wheel, obviously, and this is still realism overhaul and everything. And that's how the bottom looks. And we can open the cargo bay. But yeah, I think uh, I have always encourage Becca to be conservative in his numbers and maybe they are too conservative. We'll have to see about the numbers because obviously at the moment we're not quite getting enough. And once we release the cargo and due to the RCS thrust replacement right now, we can't really cleanly get the cargo out very easily. Um, in fact, I can't stop it from spinning right now. So that's among the things that we need to fix. Okay, well, out goes the cargo. So we have, without the cargo, 276 meters per second. Or 275, something like that. And that's just with the vacuum engines right now. So maybe en enough to deorbit, but certainly not enough to do the landing. And our mass is 140 tons. And of that, perhaps 20 tons is fuel. So we've got a dry mass of 120 tons altogether. So yeah, a any uh, input people can give about thruster replacements, numbers, or anything like that, any suggestions uh, would be appreciated because we want to do things as good as possible leading up to the launch of this, uh, including the eventual, you know, simulated launch video. So yep looking for information and hope you like the look of the model. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.